This is Norman Patterson, the yellow jacket expert. The people asked me to make a video of how I collect for the medical lab. So this is a great example. I'm down here in Westport, Connecticut. Today is uh, September 22nd, 2023. And this is a collection of um, V. Germanica from this house. They make voids in houses, and um, this is the way that I go about collecting them. So there's my trap, and I'll show you a little bit closer of a video of that. And they're coming from right up in here. Let's see. Right up there. And that's how I collect them. The sponge that's inside of that trap is to keep them alive. <laughs> so is the hose is also smooth. They get sucked into a smooth hose and then they go onto that sponge so that they live and uh, they don't get sucked into the vacuum. I have to collect them alive for the medical lab because a dead yellow jacket without being frozen is a waste, it's just garbage. So they have to be collected and then frozen alive in order for them to be used for the medical lab. So here's a great example of me collecting these uh, yellow jackets for sting, al sting allergy patients. And I'll show some slow-mos and a close-up of the jug. So I'm in Westport, Connecticut, and uh, this person has a really big Germanica nest inside the house, and he does not want me to cut into the wall. So I had to make a entrance, a singular entrance for the Germanica to come in and out of, rather than multiple entrances, so that the collection would be that much more efficient. But you can see here how they're coming into the trap from up there. These are Vespa Germanica and they are going to be used for sting allergy patients. Today is September 22nd, 2023.